Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, Supreme Ruler Ultimate. That's what we're playing, right? Uh, with me, Commissar mm -hmm. Roach, and all of these gentlemen here, uh, Benjamin Magnus, Bunisher Bob, and uh, Mordred Viking. And... Alright, Kamish. Yeah. <laughs> Go for yourself. Sorry, I was just helping you out there, Roach. We got you back. <laughs> I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I, if I remember correctly, I was just about to finish some construction. <laughs> of what? Uh, well, hydroelectric dam. Hi oh, really? That's that's impressive. I think I you're being condescending. Issue... I'm not sure why. I, 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 I think he is too, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Many and... German arms have been shipped over there to Poland. So. Well, you, you gave me all the old stuff. I give you some, you know, 1990s equipment. Not that old. I mean, it was like 70s equipment, so. Oh, and supply bases. I, I Right at the end of the last session, Bob told me that supply matters, apparently. So I, I was building a lot of those. Yeah, it does. Wait, at the end of the last episode? Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a way in. I've been, <laughs> been saying that for, like, what, what are we on, 25 now? Well, you, you know, I knew that you told me that supplies matter. I didn't know the, the the supply situation. I thought that only applied to like getting you know you know like bullets and beans and bombs to the front. I didn't realize that it was also getting stuff up to the factories like behind the line. Oh yeah, Ben's just throwing his his goods just like right outside the like the commissar unit. Yeah, the, com the commissary. <laughs> now you're putting it in a warehouse. Those heathens. Yeah, because I had an issue with industrial goods. I was like, why is my production not all the way up? And you were like, hey, can they get the steel to the factory? No? Well, there's your problem. <laughs> Where did I send you guys? Oh, right. I was going to do a great push from the like the north of Sweden. Right. That's what I was yeah. doing. Technical difficulties? Uh, are there technical difficulties? Someone said rip in technical difficulties on in my ch chat. What's going I mean, you, on? You sound like a robot. Yeah, and Bob, you have once or twice as well. Maybe, Which maybe is, streaming uh, at the same time, Ben, just isn't. With this game, isn't isn't viable. It worked perfectly fine before. Well, I mean, you've always sounded like a robot when you. When, never mind. <laughs> this is the part where you tell me you have an airfield up here, Sweden. Okay, now it's working. Okay, it's working now. Oh, viewers went down to zero, so something something messed up. Yes, yeah, something must have messed up on my stream. Attack me. Or attack me more. Although I'm really enjoying the cannon fodder they're sending my way. What, the jets and stuff that keep flying in the line? Merchant Marines. Oh. I'll send the my jets, Navy up to support. It's like damage. The jets are just damage, but I usually don't end up to, uh, manage to shoot them down. The the Merchant Marine, there's a lot of... I mean, the beaches must be clogged with Russian corpses by now. <laughs> Most likely. Right, let's go over to my doodle and check the thingy. Raymond Zoxon Zoxon. Offline. Live. Oh, well, looks like it's working now. Bow, bow, yeah! Shell the town! Shell the town? Actually, shelling town is actually a really bad idea because it lowers your intrigue, uh, your uh, treaty integrity rating. Okay, no shelling so towns. Found out. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, if you start committing war crimes, people will know about it. Just ask Roach. What? <laughs> we're, we're, oh, we're, right. Didn't Bulgaria used to be a country? No, it's not there anymore. I don't recall him sh like leveling towns though. But yeah, I didn't. That was that was a straight up military engagement. Is this a continuation of the YouTube series? Yes, it is. But way in the future. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're huge, way huge ahead on on episodes. This would theoretically be episode twenty four. <laughs> yes, and seven have uh have aired. I have no infantry up here. Where is my infantry? Where is the German infantry? Actually there's bring some helicopters up there. Yes. Hydro Bala. Do I have infantry anymore? I've got like several games going on. I don't even know where I am right now. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, here we go. Here's some infantry. Yeah, all of you come over here. You all live over here now. And then recon. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke the Russians up here in the north next to Sweden. And the the theory is that if they bring their units up here, they'll all get stranded in this no supply area. And then we'll shell them mercilessly. Oh, theater control. Give me that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you should ask Mordred how that stuff works. <laughs> what are theater controls? Not good. That's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> basically it's a way of kind of fine tuning where your armies are deployed to but there's no actual way of assigning units to theaters or battle zones they're kind of pointless oh man i was i was watching him play italy and he was just getting so frustrated <laughs> trying to figure it out and losing his army to ethiopia <laughs> yeah I, I legit lost to ethiopia oh you know what i i just found out like three or four days ago is that there are other research tabs above you know at the top where you could actually oh, wow. like, research new types of units didn't know that was a thing oh wow this is the first episode i've we've recorded where i knew that that was something that you could do well poles haven't had new unit designs in like two years <laughs> i just rely on everybody to give them to me yeah the only new design i have is the Belarus ship and you were saying they're not very good, Bob. They're actually very good at shooting planes down. That's kind of a speciality. Well, I, I always look at their like operational range in comparison to their strength. Because mm -hmm. I like to be able to like keep problems away from my shores is what I like to do. Plus, given the the uh, you know propensity for like missiles and stuff to be like a thing in this, <laughs> you know, I, I tend I, I tend to, I tend to err on the side of can it hold a lot of missiles and can it go really far. Is there a stat for shooting missiles down? Well, that would just be your AA. So missiles are either close, medium, or high? I think they're all mid, save for like some of the earlier ones. Well, ICBMs are high targets. Everything I think that we're shooting Here today come the are mid-air. And then uh, I think some of the earlier ones count as um, close targets. Okay. It is time yeah, for Russia to build coming a new... in. Time for Poland, not Russia, to build a new research center. <laughs> so I can have more than two. Jeez. <laughs> all... I'm having That's a little bit of a Freudian crisis. slip who there, am. Ben. <laughs> who, who am I? You see, I... since we're on the Swedish side of the border, the Russians won't come over here. I can just get pounded oh, by a ship. Marvelous. You were you were marching up this way, thumbing the Swedish, your nose at them. And the, and the Swedish Air Force is all sorts of deploy. Like at the board, be like, "All right, Russians, <laughs> come at me, bro." Although I really don't want them to come at me because it, I, there's a lot of. You know, only one more country between you and oblivion. Yeah, I don't know how well the uh, Agnes O line is. I don't know how well it's going to do. Probably not well. It's well, considering it's mostly like it's like one tank and then some like thirty-seven millimeter anti-aircraft guns and then missiles that bobbled me. That, I mean, I understand what they are. I don't understand how they work. He just told me to hit this button and then it goes bew. So, <laughs> trying to train soldiers in Afghanistan or something. You ever seen that video of like uh, 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 those uh, Afghan like internal security forces uh, doing uh, exercises? No. 
uh, they, they're told to do jumping jacks, and they're all... <laughs> not one of them knows how to do a jumping jack correctly. Oh, uh, yeah, I've oh, seen that, that one specifically, actually. Yeah. <laughs> one guy's just standing still with, like, waving his arms up in the air. And another one, like, the other one's, like, one guy's, like, kind of got it, but the uh, the legs and the arms are off, like, synchronization. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. So, so, Bob, are you just, like, like artillerying Russian, like, columns as they go by? I am. There's shit that they can do about it. Because I'm watching this right now, and I'm like, it sure just seems like he's firing shells over the border right now. That's exactly what's going on. The Russians can't do anything about it because they're not at war with Sweden. Pew, 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 pew. So are you just whittle them down, I guess? I am. It's beautiful. Construction begun. I'm more interested in construction complete. Oh, who built what over here? Oh, coal power plant. I have no idea what I was building. Let's have a look around. I still have the, the issue of Shithead Magoo constantly spamming expensive military units. <laughs> Your minister does oh, an open rebellion. Yeah. I'll... <laughs> Ben, it's where's the be nearest uh, where's the nearest airport to your defensive line? Me? It's gotta be Kaliningrad, I think. Him. Richard Casey. I, I said Ben, so. I thought I heard Ben, and then Bob started talking, so I thought maybe I was well, which, wrong. Okay, which well, fuck both of you then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, closest to the Russian border? Yeah, just your line. Kaliningrad. There's one uh, a couple hexes off. What's the range on your Warsaw ship? This is 214 kilometers. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Actually, well, there's no Warsaws up there. My Warsaws are... Because they're pounding an infantryman one, two, three, four, five hexes away. At least I suspect it's them. Do I even have any Warsaws deployed anywhere? They're around Orland. Oh, yeah, those guys. There they are. I wonder if I can do the... Let's see. You want to drive some artillery to the border. Let's see what happens. Yes, yeah, so they have a they have a range on like ground units of 107 kilometers. They can shoot at aircraft 184 kilometers away. And then subs 124 and surface ships 107. Wow. In my highest yes, is 30-something. Have... Wow. <laughs> Okay, I need to try and find some ships that can shoot further. <laughs> Is my takeaway from that. <laughs> I assume there are penalties for assaulting across a river? Oh, yeah, definitely. You can mitigate it with, like, engineers and specialized, like, river crossing battalions and stuff like that. All right, let's see if we can make this cutoff work here. How have you got a hundred range? None of these ships have more than eighteen. That's the Warsaw class, man. Yeah, just... pulls for the win. And they're it's German, but you know. <laughs> hmm. Already using the longest range ships that I can get. Uh, someone just asked if ISIS was touching me. No, ISIS is not touching me just, just yet. I, mean, <laughs> I think they've only got a warmer country to go to. Yeah. The, the uh, the, 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 the jaws are closing in. <laughs> but I almost figured out what the internet is. Woo! Yay. They're hitting my artillery pieces. Retreat! 
Or, here, everybody just go hang out there. And anti-air guns. Pew, pew. Plan is to garrison the southern bank of that river in Lithuania when the Russians finally go get around to invading. No, I'm sitting on the Magnus line. That's why yeah, it's we're here. See if we can air patrol all the way up here to this northern border and launch some missiles. If we can, great. If we can't, then oh well. I wish yeah. there was a way. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the pew. So, you have not ideal supplies? Might want to make a new Magnus line in preparation then. If I just... If I just I, they cost money. Yes, Ben. Plan for failure. Because I can't just, I can't just fortify every single hex on the map. It costs money to build stuff and maintain it. Like, pre precarious as is. So my, my ah, military run away, pro Ruskies. <laughs> production of zero. Why is it at zero? Of what? Military goods. Uh, check and make sure that uh, your is it is it set to one hundred percent of capacity or one hundred percent of demand? Uh, military good. Well, where where is that? Second tab or a second uh, little button? You know the factory with cogwheel. Oh, yeah. There, that's a button. <clears throat> oh, that'll help. Yeah, what they, they do... That's 100% of demand. Yeah, well, the reason they do that is because the price to produce it is higher than the price that it goes on the market. So it limits how much you're wasting by creating basically gotcha. useless materials. So I'll put this to 100% of capacity and just start cranking that shit out and make sure you lock it as well so that you don't they don't oh, mess with son that. of a bitch i hate that guy that guy is a son of a bitch let me go again oh people are leaving poland that's not good They heard there's more jobs in Germany in the French fields. <laughs> <laughs> so, so someone's got to build an irrigation system. <laughs> All right, so one hundred, one hundred percent of capacity. It looks like most of them are set to one hundred percent of capacity, except yeah, for glow rocks. I don't know what those are. Well, the thing about about the capacity and demand thing is, again, if you're building things or if it, you're producing materials that sell for less than it costs to produce them, then you, when they try and sell them, because if you have too much of a stockpile and you're not locking them out from selling the stockpile, uh, you're essentially just losing money on the deal. So unless it's like 100% necessary for like a build up, then it's usually all right to just do demand. Because once you start producing more, or requiring more, it'll step up the production so that you're producing all of your, you know, what you need. Like, industrial, the, the issue is industrial goods, and uh, it's cheaper to make them domestically than it is to buy them. And it was, you know, not produced. So now I, now I have it set it to not sell the excess production and just to stockpile it, because that's something I could definitely use a stockpile of. Because, like, a, a hydroelectric dam is like 160,000 industrial units of stuff industrial doodles all right i think that's better all right as per our agreement when i asked for all of that technology i am now sending the first of italian troops to the baltic Order. <laughs> I think I'm figuring some things out. May they stand there and continually eat bleak row. I'm sending two aircraft carriers, two capital ships, and ten escorts. May they all stand there and eat bleak row. <laughs> okay. So, I don't have a, 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 a need of military goods, so I'm going to take those factories offline, I think. 
Well, no. if they're, I mean, if they're not producing anything, if you put them one hundred percent demand, then they're they're not really cost. They're costing you a penance, a pittance. Hmm. It's usually good just to keep them online and keep them on demand, because when you do need them, they'll be able to step up production immediately. So what happens if you put it at... Two? So if you set it to, like, because the slider goes in the middle. If you set it to 200% of demand, it'll just make double what you need and stockpile the rest. Uh, oh, sell the rest. If, if you're... If I'm not it, setting it to sell the surplus. If you're if you're setting it to, to not sell anything, then you will stockpile it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you need to lock it in order for it to, for those settings to save. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All right. So, consumer goods. Yeah, just keep cranking on those. All right, power. Ah, I'm making some power now. Okay. Yes, <laughs> flee before me. Wait, are you doing things now, or are you just still shooting them across the border? Um, the Dutch out of debt yet? I'm fighting in the, in the tundra up here. In Portugal. <laughs> well, I, th I it's more more than <laughs> Portugal, but I think they're still wondering if if the AI's dug itself out of that hole. I kind of doubt it. Let's have a look at the debt burden. Uh... <laughs> Mortar delve too greedily and too deep. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the Netherlands they is out call there. They call it a mine. <laughs> a mine. Portugal is not out of debt, but the so Netherlands actually is. what is the plan? Capture Russia and send them into the French mines? Well, Putin started this whole shebang, you know, a couple years ago now at this point. There's no end in sight. Mostly, you know, just <laughs> peace overtures have been sent, but they he refuses to deal. Someone just asked, does the Romanian player have a border with the Russian enclave near Moldova? Who's the Romanian, Romanian player? Romanian player is dead. He's in he's in Rome now, but you know. Yeah, that hasn't like... happened in the in the episodes on the channel though. <laughs> That's true. Oh right. The civilian the civilian government of, of Romania fled to Italy. God damn it! Who's shooting me? You have a ridiculous range. <laughs> Mom, shoot me. <laughs> There's one rocket launcher in Ualu, and I'm pretty sure they're hitting my ships from there. What's going on? Where am I fighting right now? I'm fighting in the tundras of northern Sweden. We need uh, my, reduced expenditure. Sorry. My plan right now is to uh, to try to lure the Russians into this like really low supply area and cut them off and uh, rinse and repeat. All right. Set my minister to increase revenue. And let's see how he does. And he is dead. Yeah, that happened. There, there was a problem with uh, involving Bulgaria and ISIS. <laughs> Bulgaria wasn't a problem. <laughs> ISIS was the problem. Bulgaria was a solution to a problem. Didn't really work out that well, though. Right, so... Then ISIS liberated Bulgaria from yeah, its Romanian they oppressors. They did. All right, so um, does anybody know how inflation works in this game is how like, like how, how would you go about influencing inflation in your economy uh well if you want to reduce it then you want to like increase your taxes increase your domestic goods prices things like that so there's less money out there for people to spend mm -hmm. and don't build and as much stuff it goes up yeah if you're building stuff that's that's the main driver I would like to to approval to issue a new bond series to increase our available. No, no, <laughs> say no. It's a trick. No. That's if you just say yes taking that... out. That's just taking out loans, isn't it? Yes, but if you say to the, yes to that, it unlocks further spending. And believe me, they oh, will so... spend, and they will he just take out lots and right. lots of loans. So, yeah. so so he's like, hey, Dan, can I have $10? And you're like, sure. And then he goes to your, over to your wallet and just takes everything. Yeah, More just like your checking account. Maxes out your credit cards. Oh. Five percent inflation is not there or unemployment. That's not that bad, right? No. 
that's kind of that sweet spot where you want it is like that four or five percent mathematically, as I understand it. So, mm -hmm. inflation's three point two, unemployment's five point one. Yeah, my unemployment's a bit low at the moment. It's two point six. Keep getting warnings. I need, I need people to fuck more so I can build more buildings. Okay, that's a. Uh... <laughs> they need to produce more babies, <clears throat> or I need to lower the like the the child labor laws. <laughs> What's a trade with me? What flag will I learn about today? A trivia. You'd like to buy some some food. That is something I said that, that we, we we do make that in Poland. Yes, cut off more Russians. <laughs> You've now been trapped. <laughs> Wait, are you actually doing things? I. Oh. Yeah. I well, I, I I looked up at the the coastline and I saw you still bombarding people. I was like, oh, that's all that's going on. I didn't realize there was actually some military maneuvers up farther north. Yeah. To Siberia. We're, that's nowhere near Siberia. Well, that's where you're going. That's so far the away. Way. Yeah, the yeah, long way. <laughs> there's a lot of Russia to crawl through. And I have a thing for Siberia. All right, can I just keep deforesting Poland and selling all of our trees? Increase family <laughs> subsidi subsidies and health cares for more babies. Meanwhile, I've been to my envir environmental crisis in... Uh... In Poland. <laughs> Environment. We didn't listen. So family subsidies and healthcare. So go to healthcare, up that, and people will bang more. Or well, at least have children that don't, that don't that don't die as quickly. <laughs> they but will that's die expensive. less. <laughs> that 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 that's healthcare is pricey. Is geography a thing in the U.S.? Nope. Is that like military studies? Where to attack next? The, <laughs> what, what, the, the, our extent of military studies in the US is the Americans rode to war on the back of a bald eagle and punched Hitler in the face in every war. In every war. <laughs> mm -hmm. In every war. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I would, I'm would. i willing to wager that many Americans don't know that Nazis weren't a thing in World War One. Does that mean they think that Hitler's still a thing in like Afghanistan? Probably. <laughs> well, did you hear? There's Nazis everywhere today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could I could build more consumer goods and start exporting that shit. I have the goods. Now that I have a hydroelectric plant, who needs the environment? Yeah. Man versus nature, the road to victory. <laughs> it's just like a chant from like the Emu War. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Stockpile industrial goods so I don't have to bustard Americans. Nonsense. Nazis are the cause of every war. Yup, according to Americans. Then that again, are the communists. Yeah, that if you ask a lot of Americans, if you say right wing, you're talking about Nazis. If you say left wing, you're talking about communists, and there's no other choices. Things get pretty scary here when you're talking about politics. Quite a few Russians on the way up right now. Perfect. <laughs> They'll die up here. <laughs> the four frozen forests. Uh, there, the, was it tundra up there? They'll they'll die for 120 square kilometers of tundra. Also getting getting bombarded on the ro road up. You've just I imagine you just got artillery pieces sighted on the road. Every time a truck shows up, ah! Oh, those are my ships. Oh, Bob's not RDing them. I have oh, artillery yeah. no, here Bob's there. entirely up north. Portuguese doodles doodling the doodle. Who wants to trade? So my ships are definitely being hit by something. I don't appreciate that. I mean, you are right next door to the town where the garrison can't reach you. Oh, there is no garrison there anymore. Well, <laughs> we it, dealt it was... with them. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, that whole thing about not bombarding towns, I ignored it. Somebody Portuguese in my chat just goes, crimes. Ah, America, the third world country that thinks it's first. Um, what? 
That's a pretty bold claim, given that you know we're guaranteeing world peace. Yeah. Not in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tr tr yeah. In this game, Trump is selling weapons to ISIS. So, well, shit, I, I just, I just bought a couple of weapons from him right now. The story might be a little different if we were playing, like you know, with the spheres of influence system. But you know, Ooh, what's that? I love it when the Russian helicopters come in. They're like, "Oh, what's that? Bang, dead." Maybe we'll talk about it the next episode. <clears throat> yep. And uh, with that, yeah, uh, that went by pretty quick. Uh, and with that, that's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment and uh, sub and rate the videos down below. Give it a thumbs up uh, if you really like this uh, type of content and want to support the channels. Please subscribe and also check out the links down below, where there's probably going to be a Discord link uh, and a Patreon link. So check those out. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episodes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.